We can go ahead and box that. That's our answer for our total surface area. Now on the other hand, if for this particular object we were asked to get the lateral surface area, then we would only be looking at this area. I'm going to shade it in right here back and forth. We'd only be looking at this area that goes all the way around our shape, all the way down, and we would not include the basis. We would not include this bottom base. We would not include the top base. So I'm going to go ahead and work that out. So if we're going to do LSA, I'm going to write that right here, L. SA, which stands for the lateral surface area, all we would need is our pH. pH is equal to the lateral surface area. So I'm going to plug in my numbers for just the P and the H. And we've already done it over here, but I'm just going to do it once again. So we're going to put in a 6, which is our perimeter. And then for our H, I'm going to put in another 6, which is our height. And 6 times 6 gives me 36. So it's 36 feet squared. And that would be our lateral surface area. So there it is.